hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i will show you how to fix hp laptop it's turning on but white screen no image on screen i press the power button as you can see it's turning on but white screen no image on screen so let's try to fix it Please subscribe, press the bell icon. In this case, the LCD can be bad, LVDS cable can be bad, or motherboard can be problem. So I will show you step by step how to check and fix the problem. Now I turning on this laptop again. It's turning on. Okay, it's, it's still white screen. At first, I will remove this LVDS cable from this motherboard and reconnect this cable to this motherboard and turning on this laptop again no it is still white screen so step number two I need to check LCD VCC voltage in this LVDS cable connector in motherboard So first I need to confirm which pin is LCD VCC voltage. So I need to open schematic for this motherboard. And this is the schematic for this motherboard. So as you can see this is the number of this connector okay okay this is the LCD connector 30 pin so let's find out LCD VCC voltage okay LCD VCC this is pin number 2 and 1 so let's check the voltage this is pin number one and two okay 2.5 volt this is not enough here should be 3.3 volt is present so let's find out this voltage comes from where sorry let's check this is the full circuit for LCD VCC so I need to find out first this switch 
QB as you can see this is the switch so first I need to check this switch is ok or not so let's find out in motherboard ok as you can see this is the switch so I need to first check source voltage this is the source pin ok 3.3 volt is present in source now I need to check gate voltage this is the gate gate 2.5 let's check drain voltage drain is 2.5 so i don't need to check any other component or voltage i just need to remove this switch okay this switch is problem so in this case i don't need to replace this switch i will show you the shortcut way so that's why I need to this jumper wire and solder it to between source and drain I show you Okay, as you can see I short between source and drain just like this source to drain now let's check problem fix or not turning on and problem is solved so it's very fast and easy way only I check one stage and find out the problem and fix the problem so let's check 3.3 volt is present as you can see now 3.3 volt is present so you didn't you don't need to change or replace this switch you just you can just short between source and drain okay i show you as you can see this is source I just short the source to drain with the jumper wire and problem is solved so thank you guys for watching this video